Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Club Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today, I wanted to give you guys a quick update on the global top grossing situation because people have been asking me a lot of questions over the past couple days on pretty much every single stream, every single video. Yo Tiger, when are we getting our top grossing stones, man? How many stones are we getting? What's happening? How many countries have hit top grossing? And so on and so forth. So in this video, hopefully I can answer all those questions at once and uh, we'll have a little discussion about it and uh, talk about what's gonna happen. So first things first, we're on the Dokkan Reddit here and a user by the name of Derby1537 has been so kind to just basically list all the countries, all the regions that have hit top grossing in the App Store as well as the Google Play Store and of course the App Store is for iOS whereas the Play Store is for Android so thank you to Derby1537 for um, making my job a lot easier so <laughs> let's take a quick look here guys and starting from the top here we have the App Store and so far the countries that have hit top grossing or number one in the App Store are the United States, France of course, thank you France for always carrying us global players, uh, Germany, Italy, Hong Kong, Macau, Portugal, uh, Switzerland and that's it for the uh, App Store so we have one two three four five six seven eight countries that's currently top or number one in the App Store and then for Google Play Store there's the US again there's Canada which by the way I can confirm that your boy Tiger has contributed to at least like a hundred dollars <laughs> to that cause so you're welcome global players anyways uh, we got Canada France, of course, once again, and also Switzerland, and I believe the only one he's missing here is Spain, which I saw on a different post. Um, so yeah, he's got everything covered except for Spain, I believe, which is also number one in the Play Store right now. So in total, about 11 countries, uh, I, I think not, 10 or 11 have hit top grossing, uh, whether it be in the App Store or the Google Play Store. And uh, that's pretty damn good. That's actually a lot higher than the average for celebrations, and of course, it's because it's the four-year anniversary, so a lot more people are buying, even though, to be honest, if I'm being completely honest, the sales this time around were a lot worse or just like more disappointing than I was expecting them to be. I was hoping that, you know, they would give us some more like 32 stone packs. I was hoping they would give us like some more discounted like 100 stone packs and stuff like that. And the purple stone pack doesn't count because let's be honest, like a lot of older players, a lot of people that have been playing for a while don't really care about the purple stone anymore, so they don't really buy those. Um, so yeah, they could have done a lot better job with the sales, and if they did, then we definitely would have hit top grossing in more countries, but even so, even with the kind of mediocre sales, um, you know, we still hit top grossing in a lot of countries, and that's a great sign. And now let's talk about how many stones or how many tickets or rewards we can expect to get from this and uh, of course I don't know for sure so let me just put that out there first of all like I cannot confirm anything because I personally do not work for Bandai so I have no inside information even though you guys sometimes believe or want to think that I, I'm a Bandai spy I really wish I was man but if I was I wouldn't let myself get shafted so often in the past so just keep that in mind all right so um, let's talk about this the last time that Global had a major major celebration where People were super hyped. I mean, I mean like a real like big celebration that had a lot of people spending money, had us hitting top grossing in a lot of countries, was actually all the way back in February where we had the Gogeta and Broly uh, celebration. As you can see, this news release is from February 14, 2019, so like five months ago. And when we hit top grossing for that, I'll just take you guys through it says, uh, Dear players, thank you for your passionate support. Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle has achieved first place on Google Play or Apple App Store during the event period in 14 regions worldwide, including the United States and France, which we have this time as well. The operation team hereby expresses our sincerest gratitude for your support to celebrate achieving first place on Google, Google Play or App Store in 14 regions. We are giving out 100 Dragon Stones and awesome rewards to all players. So. I mean, awesome rewards are nice, but this is the main thing that you guys care about. 100 Dragon Stones, all right? And they got 100 Dragon Stones, or we got 100 Dragon Stones, uh, 20 character slots, 7 incredible hourglasses, um, some Hercule statues, and a bunch of potential orbs and stuff like that, which is always nice. But um, the main thing, of course, to pay attention to is the 100 Stones. And even though we're still a little bit short of that 14 regions, we, like I said, are only... Um, we have 10 right now, 10 or 11, 
but we did hit top grossing in both in France and US in both stores, so I think that also counts for something. And uh, since it's a four-year anniversary, I feel like they would there's a chance they would, might want to be a little bit more generous with the rewards. So I personally think. Once again, I don't know for sure, but I personally think that 100 stones is definitely on the table, so we should definitely be able to expect 100 stones once again, just going based off this, right? And as big as the Broly and Gogeta thing was, as big as the celebration was, I think that the 4 year anniversary is still bigger because at the end of the day, no matter what, anniversaries are the biggest celebrations, the biggest um, money makers for gacha games like Tokan and Legends and so on and so forth. So yeah, I definitely think just to appease the player base, 100 stones is on the table. We should expect to get that for our top grossing rewards. And of course, this also means, I mean, some people are even asking like, are we actually gonna hit top grossing? Are we actually gonna even get top grossing rewards? This 100% confirms, yes, we are getting top grossing rewards because of what I showed you in the previous post um, on Reddit. And uh, I think 100 stones is on the table. I think that's a very good possibility. But once again, not confirmed. And uh, as far as tickets go, it's kind of hard to say. I think that JP, when they hit top grossing, got 30 tickets, but I can't say for sure because um, I was actually in China at the time, so I wasn't really keeping up with everything, but good amount of tickets also. I think maybe 30, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more, but good amount of tickets, 100 stones, um, orbs, of course, uh, I guess most likely either AGL orbs or uh, SDR orbs or a combination of the two. And I'm sure they'll also throw in like some maybe character slots, maybe Hercule statues. Nice things to have, but nothing really people care about. But that's it guys, that's all I really want to talk about in this video. Just to give you guys a little update of what's going on with the uh, top grossing situation so that maybe um, less people will like ask me the same question over and over again on every single video. And as far as when we're going to get them, um, it could be as early as tonight, like this afternoon. Uh, at the regular like reset time of like 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but it could also take a couple more days, uh, depending on whether whether Bandai wants to wait for more countries to hit top grossing. Maybe they want us to get to up to like 14, 15, because you know there's a trend. Like as, as many countries that we saw um, at top grossing already, there's a lot of other countries that are at number two right now, or number three, or in the top five. So there's a good chance those guys will also get to top grossing. So maybe Bandai want to wait a little bit. So. Could be as early as tonight, but it could also take like three, four, five days or something like that. But either way, guys, it, they're coming. They're definitely, definitely coming. It's gonna happen for us. So just be a little bit patient. Don't uh, freak out. And I promise uh, your your patience will be rewarded. So uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys found this video useful or uh, you enjoyed it in some way. And if you liked the video, then as always, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's the first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's pretty much all I got to say, guys. Hope you're enjoying the four-year anniversary. Of course, we're only in part one, so part two is also coming, and uh, I definitely got a lot more content for that too. So stay tuned for all of that. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I appreciate every single one of you for watching. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.